Hey everybody, it's Lisa Burningham. Have you ever been at the store or online and you found something you absolutely loved and then you looked at the price tag and it just broke your heart because it was way out of your budget? Well, that's what happened to me when I saw this set of two branch wall art pieces on the Horchow website. This 3D art is cast brass in an antique gold leaf frame with crystal detail. This set of two was $1,500 for two. So, oh, and that didn't even include shipping. It was like $165 for shipping too. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. So I am going to recreate it and it cost me only $22. To begin, I got some canvas at the Dollar Tree. They are 11 by 14 in size, and I will say that my inspiration piece was 24 inches wide by 42 inches tall, so it is quite larger than my piece that I'm gonna make, but that's okay, mine's gonna be just perfect. So with my canvas, I'm going to first trace out my branch detail. I'm gonna do it with just a regular old pencil. It's important to trace out your design first because if you don't like your design or you mess up, you can easily erase it at this point. But if you paint your canvas first and then mess up and erase, there is a possibility that you could erase some of the paint and then you'll have to start over. So doing your design first is easy because you can always paint over pencil. To create the same muted background in my inspiration piece, I'm going to start off using some Armor Metallic Paint. I purchased this at Michael's, it was $5.99, but I had a 20% off coupon, and so it brought the price down to $4.79. What I did with my paint was I first watered it down a little bit, that way this softens the color of it and it gives it a little more fluidity as you're putting it on your canvas. You can always add more paint, but it's hard to remove once it's on. So I'm adding it in small amounts and in a watered down version. I used quick brush strokes up and down. This motion softens the edges so you can't see the brush strokes. The second layer of paint that I'm using is this metallic steel paint. I got this from Target, I already had it, I got it like a year ago. I placed a darker shade in the corners, along the edges, and at various places on the canvas where the shading was darker against the branches. The top layer is just some gold craft paint. Again, I had this, I purchased this at Michael's. I'm going to brush this gold paint on the same way with quick even strokes to minimize brush marks and soften all of the edges. This gold was the perfect top layer. It added extra dimension and sheen to my background. I think my background version is pretty spot on to the inspiration piece. I love the way that all these layers came together to add one subtle muted backdrop. Once I was finished with the paint, I let it dry completely. Now I had to do some serious brainstorming to think of a solution to create some branches. I thought if I used real branches, they would be too bulky and I would never be able to get them the same shape as the inspiration piece. So my solution is hot glue because I can mold that hot glue to the exact shape that I need and it can be three dimensional. I began hot gluing along the traced lines. The best part about recreating these branches is the more uneven, the better. I'm not looking for straight lines, so having an unsteady, shaky hand is actually gonna work to your benefit during this project. So I just continued to hot glue along those lines. I did go back over some of the branches with extra hot glue to make them thicker and add more dimension. After I was done hot gluing my branches, I did have those little strings, so I just pulled some of those off to make sure that the canvas was really clean and that the branches didn't have any of those rogue pieces of hot glue strings all over them. My video today is in collaboration with Yami, the Latina next door, and her look for less challenge. Now Yami is such a darling friend of mine and not only is she just the sweetest person, she does everything from remodeling homes to creating seasonal decor. Her co-host this month is Corey from Desert DIY. Corey can take some old beat up furniture and give it new life. 
I will leave a link to Yami and Corey's channel in the description box below, as well as a link to the playlist. Once all of my hot glue branches were created, it was time to paint them. I'm using some premium ultra bright gold paint. I got a smaller paintbrush and I painted along each one of the branches. These branches are uneven and the paint spotlights the three dimensional shape by adding highlights to the top and brightening up the edges and indentations. Once my branches were fully painted on the sides, the top, on the edges, I let it dry completely overnight. Now it's time for my favorite part and that is to add the sparkle. I got this bag of glass vase fillers on clearance for 62 cents. So hello, that was such a great score. And I picked out the clear pieces. Again, I'm using my hot glue gun. I hot glued the back of the bead before I added it to my canvas. The reason why I did that is because I wanted to minimize the strings from the hot glue and by putting it onto the bead first and then placing it onto my canvas, it minimized having all those strings all over it. So I continued to place the clear beads all over the branches until everyone was in their spot. Now that my artwork is all finished, it's time to place them in my frames. Now the frames were the biggest cost to this project. I got them at Michael's, however, I got there on a day where the frames were 70% off. So my 11 by 14 sized gold frame was originally 22 something and I ended up getting them for $6.90 a piece, which is great because these are classy frames. If I ever wanna change out the canvas, I can switch it out for something else and the frames are just timeless. So I needed to first remove the mat and the glass since this is 3D, we don't need the glass in place. So I took those out and then I put my artwork inside and placed the backing on again. And now my artwork is finished. You guys, how pretty are these? I can't believe how similar they are to my inspiration piece. And we recreated it for so much less. Well, let's go over the cost breakdown really fast. I spent $2 on the canvas. I spent, we're gonna round, I hope that's okay. I spent $4.79, so we'll round that to five on the paint. The biggest cost was the frames. We'll round that to $14 and the beads were 62 cents, so we'll round that to a dollar. For a grand total of $22, I was able to get a set of two beautiful pieces of artwork. That saves me $1,478 from our original inspiration piece, and we didn't have to pay for shipping, so we saved even more that way too. One of my favorite things about designing this artwork and creating it was I used the hot glue gun in a way that I had never used before. Hot glue is such a cheap and versatile medium to use for all kinds of designs. So if branches aren't your thing, you can use the hot glue and make some flowers or something else that fits in with your design aesthetic. I hope you enjoyed this experience of getting this look for less with me today and I hope that you got some inspiration so you can find a piece that you love and recreate it for less. Thank you so much for watching.